Good morning. Welcome to my YouTube page. Today, I'm gonna try and vlog a day in the life. It's actually a really busy day, so we'll see if I remember to do this. It's 6 a.m. Joe has already woken up and gone to the gym. I'm now just waking up. First thing I do every day before I pick up my phone or do anything is I meditate for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna sit up and I just sit like this, mantra-based 20 minute meditation, and then I get up to early. And now it's time for the best part of my morning. Good morning, Prince Charlie. Hi. Hello. Hello. Can we not nip my fingers? We're teething very badly. It's time to get outside, hopefully get a poop out, definitely a pee, come back inside and it's breakfast for him. You're very cute. Tur sit. Good boy. Down. Down. You wanna go down? You don't like the camera? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, handsome boy. He hates when I'm on my phone. Good boy. Will we pee ever? I don't know. You can do it. Yay! We still don't lift our legs. Maybe one day, but not yet. Now we go for a very uh -uh, quick walk, a few blocks around just to get Charlie's morning poop out. Every single morning starts off the same for me, a glass of like half room temperature water. Then I add in boiling water, just cause I want it like hot, but I don't want it so hot. A shot, I don't really know cause I'm not measuring, of apple cider vinegar. And then I have to cut this, but a juice of half a lemon. And then before I do anything, I finish this big ass glass. I used to be someone who would like rush out the door and get their workout in. Charlie, excuse me. No. I used to do my workout first thing in the morning. Since leaving my job, that's changed a bit. So, hey, he's eating our blanket. And he knows he's doing something wrong because he's staring at me as he's doing it. Now first thing I do is I write down five, three things I'm grateful for and three things that I'm like currently manifesting. And then I sit at our desk, which is our dining room table, and get some emailing and work done. I'm also seriously noticing this underground pimple that I have and a black eye from Charlie's paw. Look at my best for you all. Basically leaving the apartment for like the entire day. So I'm going to show you what I'm packing and how I kind of live around New York without coming home. Let me see if I can flip this camera. Char, are you interested in what we're doing? I know you are. All right, I have my big MZ Wallace backpack. I have a water bottle that I always have with me. These are my like little utensils in here because I'm going to be eating on the go. Currently, I'm reading a book by my aunt. So I'll have that with me, my wallet that goes everywhere, my AirPods, obviously. At some point, I am going to the sauna at now, so I have a change of clothes, just like sweatpants, a t-shirt, underwear, socks, bra. I'm also boxing, so I have my gloves and all that. I have a brush, because I will be showering at now. In here are all of my little travel size shampoo conditioners that I use, Vital Proteins, old shot bottles for, but whatever. I am taking my creamy mushroom and frisilli snap kitchen meal to eat at some point after rumble before my therapy. It's time for my espresso. So I make a shot of espresso in my coffee machine. And then over here I have unsweetened hazelnut milk, a scoop of vital proteins collagen, and some of my beam CBD. I'll heat this up, froth it, and then add it on top of my espresso. I love you so much, so much. Look at that fro, oh my God, am I like a professional freaking coffee maker? What are you doing? Charlie's favorite activity, no matter how many toys he has, is he walks over to the couch and grabs one out of this basket. Are we gonna do it again? You can jump off the couch, there you go. All the toys in his crate, I can see three toys over there. Always needs more. 
All right, typically, eh, bah, bah, Charlie eats farmer's dog for breakfast, but I forgot to defrost any. So, it's kibble today, but I know this sounds crazy. I hand feed him while we're training because it's an easy way to train. I'm gonna try to record this as well, but we'll see if this works. Set, spin. Yes, oh, voice crack, Cammy. Set, yeah, no, I didn't say spin. Sit, no, Charlie, sit. Yes. Spin. Yes. Down. Yes. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Stay. No, Charlie. So now I put it on the ground and he knows not to go. Down. Good boy. Sit. 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 Okay. So we've been working on release words so that he knows when he can eat things and when he can't. The hungriest dog of all time, no matter how much he is fed. Char, sit, spin, yes. Okay, eat the cleanups. This is probably so weird for anyone who doesn't do this. Stay, stay. Charlie, come on buddy. Sit, yes, stay, come. Good boy. Breakfast, I'm having these almond butter pancakes from Snap Kitchen. So I just heated them up. Ooh, they're nice and hot. It came with this like berry compote. I sliced up a banana and then I'm gonna add in some almond butter to make it more of a full meal. Voila. Honestly, this looks so freaking bomb. But about the whole like business aspect of Freckled Foodie and sponsor content, this is where I differ and I mean potentially could get better but also I like that I'm not like so structured. I don't necessarily plan out all of my content like whatsoever. So I knew I had to do a sponsored post with Snap Kitchen at some point this month. I hadn't figured out when I was gonna do it and I just ate the breakfast, shot it, and then posted. So that's up there. Normally not how sponsored content works because usually you have to like send for approval and the brand has to approve it and then they send edits and it's like a freaking nightmare. But I'm blessed that I work with some companies who don't do that. So they let me run with it, which is how it should all be done because it's then my voice and it's most organic and true. So that's what I've been doing. Now time for a little bit of work before I take him off. Oh my God, Charlie, passed out. Before I take him to daycare and get going with my day. I was on my way to drop off Charlie at daycare and I was gonna show you guys that entire process. But as we were leaving the building, the pickup lady was there picking up two other dogs. So she was like, do you want me to just take him with me? And I was like, sure, save me a few blocks. He is obsessed with his daycare and they are in love with him so much so that the woman who does pick up and drop offs just showed me that a photo of Charlie is the background of her phone. He's the cutest thing in the world. Just had two conference calls, which I always do on walks if I can. And now I'm walking to another meeting I have. I have one of my favorite like offices away from home. You can't really see it, you just saw cars, but Westbourne. So cozy and comfy. Eating is done. Headed to my doctor, who I see, Dr. Beth Bergosh, who will be a podcast guest, like maybe by the time this launches. I see her for NRT which is muscle testing, which is some woo-woo shit I do, and it works, so I'm continuing to do it. I was a bit late, and now I am freaking rushing to my workout, which is rare for me to work out in the middle of the day, but as you know, I had a really busy morning, and this is the only time, I was the mind that's fucking on. This is the only time I click fit one into my schedule. I'm going to rumble, to get my box on, but I gotta fucking hurry my ass up, I'm gonna be so late, and I'm going to the new location, and I know I'll probably get lost. I made it with two minutes to spare. Here we go. Okay, I refuse to record while we're in class, but this is how rumble works. Three rounds on the bag, three rounds here, two rounds on the bag, two rounds here, doing weightlifting and such. And it fucking rules. Rumble class is over. I did not have time to shower, so I just put water on my face, took off my sports bra because, well, hello, that is what I hate like if it's sweaty on me. Put back on my shirt, my sweatshirt, and now I'm headed uptown. I have a therapist appointment in like an hour. I have my lunch from Snap Kitchen that I'm going to maybe microwave in my therapist's like kitchen. 
area. I don't know. She probably hates me for using her space as like an office, but I think she loves me. Snap Kitchen Creamy Mushroom Fusilli, and I'm at my therapist. <laughs> I'm gonna pop it in her microwave and then eat it in her lobby. Not glam, but I'm making it work. My Tupperware that I carry around with me everywhere. I just forgot the word fork. And my pasta in the lobby of my therapist's office. I had an amazing therapy session with my favorite person in the world. I'm off to go to Now Wellness for a sauna. So I'm like still kind of hungry. That lunch was pretty light, even though it was delicious. So I stopped by Hugh Kitchen and got one of their almond butter banana smoothies. Just almond milk, almond butter, banana, and date. This lighting is so fucking weird. But I'm in there for a sauna. I come here once a week, I try, for 30 minutes. It's been so helpful in my healing process. I love Now Wellness, but there's so many places in the city. If you're ever interested, I highly recommend checking it out. A big part of my not so glam life, I just finished on a dripping in sweat, and now it's time for me to shower, so I shower in here. The clothes I'm changing into, my brush are here. My little toiletry setup is here. Like that, I'm showered with my wet hair. Heading home, I know this is how you get sick. That's my reality. Blow dry my hair, get some work done, cuddle with Charlie, and then get dressed for a really <laughs> fucking cool night that I have. Now that Charlie's in daycare, I miss him so much. Are you tired? Are you tired? Did you miss me? Did you miss me as much as I missed you? Do you think so? How was daycare? Oh good, they trimmed your nails. Your nails are way too long. I love you. Can you say I love you back? We'll work on that. I haven't really sat down on my computer to do any like desk work all day long. I also feel like I haven't drank any water. So that's what I'm doing for the next hour or so before I have to rush to get ready for dinner. And that really annoying friend that has someone coming over in six minutes and I'm still in sweatpants and haven't done anything to get ready yet. Oh, fuck, she's here. Done. Now time to get the outfit. Finally got dressed with my new shoes. Charlie wants my wine very badly. Okay, this is not a nice game. And now we're off.